Brian from Brian Travel. How are you guys today? So today I'm here at Hilton Hotel at Shinjuku District at Tokyo, Japan. Shinjuku is basically the center of the Tokyo, Japan. In the United States, you can think it's like New York, Manhattan, while well, itself it is in Tokyo, Japan now. Be sure to check my other video covering Shinjuku and it's going to be fun. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for my like, see other videos that cover a number of different travels I've been to and then restaurants, hotels, and those like that. What I can tell about this hotel is that it is simply perfect. I can give it five out of five with no problem at all. You may have heard that the hotels in Asian Pacific is much better than one at the United States. Well, I kind of can kind of confirm that this may be true. And now you'll see why. In this video, you're gonna see a number of different things, including the lobby, fitness center, the room, which I got upgraded to, and multiple restaurants within the inside of the hotel because there are multiple hot restaurants inside this hotel and a number of many different things. Oh, I'm also Hilton Diamond member, so you're gonna see that the upgraded room which is, is in fin is 37 floor, executive floor, and which also has executive lounge, which is simply great. And also I get a complimentary breakfast option. And then also as a Hilton Diamond member, I get, I get to choose between two luxury dining options. One at the either second floor at the Zata's bottom lounge, or one at the first floor, St. George, which I went to. Again, this hotel is simply amazing, and so let's see this hotel together. This Hilton Hotel is located in Shinjuku District, which is a very busy place. The easiest way to get here is using the Google Map. The address is 6 62 Inji Shinjuku, Shinjuku City, Tokyo. And if you want to get here by subway, the best way is to get off at Shinji Shinjuku Station or Tokoma Station. And there are a lot of buildings here, tall buildings, it's a building forest. And then the, but the best way to find it is if you see Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, which is one of the tallest buildings. Be sure to check my, my other video which covers what Tokyo is like. And there are a lot of construction when I came here. We are finally here, so let's go inside and see what it's like. You ready? Let's jump inside hotel and see. Here we are inside the lobby. Look at how beautiful it is, how gorgeous it is. It's simply look at the surrounding and with attention to detail is amazing. And check-in desk is pretty nice too. As a hotel diamond member, I get compliment breakfast, a single lounge access, and then complimentary bar. Um, drink option. In lobby, this is floor to second floor level, and then so it's just simply amazing. It's at Christmas time, so look at the decoration. Attention to the detail, the like interior is simply beautiful. And then there's a small bakery inside the inside restaurant lobby. I don't know if it's open 24 hours, 365. Well, it's definitely not 24 hours, but 365 days. But just uh, if you want to check out the bread and get something to do, I think just that there are a lot of interesting looking bread and beautiful bread here, so it's good to check out. So let's go finally early to the elevator and then go to the room. So my room is at the executive floor, which is the seventh floor, so let's go inside and see. So the room is very interesting because there are a lot of interesting decoration. It's not huge per se, but uh, I think definitely has everything I need. And then it's very clean and then modern looking like. The decoration is awesome. I got two queen beds for some reason, but I was used to stay by myself. There's a small sofa and then floor is interesting. And then there's a desk and then tea and coffee option. By the way, free tea drinks are not complimentary. Yeah. And the restroom is very modern as well. There's a lot of everything you need. And there are plenty of electronic plugins that um, if you want to get charged. 
And then as I open the window, look at the view of the Tokyo Shinjuku. It's beautiful. The segment lounge is also located at 37th floor. And then make sure to give your room number when you come here. And then it's simply beautiful and huge. This is in the UK entire 360 degree view of the Shinjuku area for this building. Anytime you come here, there are plenty of snacks and drink options. They also have different kinds of options, special time throughout the day. So make sure to check that out. And there are plenty of drink options. And the seating, seating arrangement, you can have seating arrangement of all kinds, where you're with family or the group or by yourself. But what I like the best about this place is the interior is simply amazing. I don't know who designed this, but it's simply the creation is so beautiful. There's a special time at the Xavier Lounge called Tea Time, which is a little misleading because you can get tea anytime, but the special snacks they provided was simply too delicious. Well, in the evening, they serve dinner, which is kind of light option, but they are delicious. They are salad and plenty of everything you need. But what's interesting about this place is that it is just a simple idea. The drink option is amazing. You get a champagne, all kind of expensive champagne, and as the spirit, all kind of spirit, wine, and all the beers are available as well. It's simply awesome. In the center is located on the 5th floor. I like to work out every day, so it's a very good option. And then this place open 24 hours, but person to assist you only can only is available at a certain time. So they give you the um, towel and the locker key. There's a locker, and there's a water fountain. There's a plenty of cardiovascular equipment, which is good. But only one of the disappointment is that there is very few weight option. So weight equipment. So that was kind of interesting. Oh, and there's even a tennis court. How is that possible? It's just amazing. And then swimming pool, which I didn't get to check out other than just look at it, looks very good as well. So many restaurants inside the hotel. There's a Jata Bar and Lounge, which I went to. And there's a lot of music going on within this bar. So let's listen together. So that music was amazing. There's also other restaurants like Dynasty and so many things here. So be sure to check out Houghton website or the, my uh, description in this YouTube video for the other restaurant here. So as a Houghton Diamond member, I have two complimentary breakfast options. One at the Exegel Lounge and one at the Downstairs Marble Lounge, which is a breakfast buffet. What separates this Exegel Lunch good uh, breakfast from the downstairs is that it offers much healthier option that's a focus. But there are still a lot of food to eat. There's a lot of uh, Western style like breakfast as well as Eastern style breakfast options. There are a lot of things that actually make it very pretty and healthy. And so I would say different place to check out if you wanted something healthy option. And I think just plate additions are simply beautiful. I think it's really good to check out and then I think that it's just that a very picture-like view and it's very artistic, it's awesome. So let's go check out the breakfast at the Marble Lodge first floor. This place is simply, simply the best. I 
think it does everything you can decorations, attention to detail, but just when you come here, you'll be surprised to see how much options you get and how much things you can eat, as well as everything just looks so fresh and so delicious. So, I think it's just that uh, just looking at my the pictures will explain everything, so I will watch, let you watch from here. So, how was it? I think it is watching this Hilton Hotel review give you some good idea what the hotel feels and looks like. When you come to Tokyo, Japan next time, make sure to stay here as I can give you a high recommendation this hotel is simply the bomb. Anyway, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see other video reviews cover a number of different things including place to stay, place to see, place to eat as I travel around the world. So this is Brian Travel again, and thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.